NBC News. Everywhere you go, there we are. From your TV to your radio, your iPod to your cell phone, whether you're at home or on the move. NBC News, America's news leader. Well, there's the phrase artistic liberties, and then there is simply going too far. And that's how it's believed the BBC in England got itself into a bit of a royal mess involving the Queen of England and an unusual request by an iconic American photographer that the Queen remove her crown for a photo shoot. NBC's Martin Savage takes it from there. It was this BBC sneak peek of its upcoming blockbuster fall series entitled A Year with the Queen that caused all of the furor. Among other things, it highlights the royal photo shoot with American celebrity photographer Annie Leibovitz. I think it will look better without the crown. Less dressy, because the, the garter robe is so extraordinary. Less dressy? What do you think this is? <laughs> I'm not changing anything. I'm coming up dressing like this. Her Highness appears to storm off, but that's not the way it really happened. This was actually the Queen arriving for the shoot, not heading out in a huff as the BBC implied. This morning, British papers were full of headlines of a Queen gone mad. The moment the Queen snapped, shouted one. By midday, the BBC was in royal damage control mode. The BBC has apologized to the Queen today. By this evening, it was the lead story, in part because it was the BBC, but also because an American would be so bold as to ask the Queen to remove her crown, which in this case, as anyone in Britain knows, was actually a tiara. I've been photographing the Queen for over 30 years now, and I wouldn't ask her to take off her tiara or her crown. You see, asking the Queen to remove her tiara is a bit like asking this Welsh guard to remove that bearskin helmet. It simply isn't done, is it? Do you think the Queen was justified? I think she was very justified because everything would have been agreed beforehand, what she was going to wear, the shots that were going to happen. Last month, two Leibovitz photos of the Queen appeared in Vanity Fair, one with tiara, and one without. Martin Savage, NBC News, London.